Strike Force. Up close. Hosted by JV. Since when did so many men start caring about women's mixed martial arts? Since when did women start selling out major venues and signing major deals to fight on Showtime? Since 24 year old Chris Cyborg. She has the power, the speed, and the strength most men don't have. What else? Oh, Cyborg doesn't just want to defeat her opponents, she wants to pound them with every ounce of energy she has until she knocks them out, they quit, or the ref makes her quit. And with that stop by the ref, Cyborg defeated the former champ, Gina Carano. By way of technical knockout, she is now the Strikeforce Women's 145 pound world champion, Chris Cyborg. June 26th, Cyborg returns to the HP Pavilion in San Jose to defend her title on one of the biggest nights in sports history because right now, she's the best woman in the sport and considered to be the best man in the sport is this man, Fedor. They are both fighting on the same night. That's big. I always watch Fedor. He is the best in the world and is known around the world. I'm just trying to be the best in my own weight division and it's an honor to be on the same card. In the gym, all day, every day. She's not training, however, for her next opponent, Jan Finney. Her only goal is to get better. In fact, she never spars with women, only men. I only train with men for two reasons. One, I worry about hurting women. Two, the men keep me at a really high level of competition. What level of competition is Cyborg on compared to the other women in her weight class? I think Tom Cruise explained it best when he said to Cameron Diaz. See, most of the other women, they're here. But Chris Cyborg is here. Other women, here. Okay? Chris Cyborg, other women. Chris Cyborg, other women. Some fans worry that they're just going to run out of opponents that are on your level. What if, like the shadier days of boxing, someone were to ask you to take a dive in order to keep public interest and make money? I would never lose for money. I have heard of this happening before, but for me, if they can't find me opponents, I will look for something else. Even if I have to leave MMA and go to boxing or Muay Thai, I'll look for tougher girls somewhere else. You only have one loss in your career. It was your very first fight. When I go back and watch, it's hard to tell what happened. Can you explain that loss? My first fight was in São Paulo, Brazil. I had only been fighting for six months. But what happened was, when my opponent had me in a double knee bar, I twisted to get out and I dislocated my shoulder. There was no way I could still fight with my shoulder dislocated. But a lot of people think I tapped out because of the knee bar she put me in. <laughs> One of my favorite YouTube videos, this guy Aaron True is interviewing Cyborg and he asked her, hey, how long could Gina Carano last in a chokehold? And that's when... Oh my god, he's out, he's out. How did you know you weren't going to kill him? Like, it looked so dangerous. Before the interview, the guy said he wanted to know what it felt like to pass out from a choke. So it was set up that I was to choke him. When it was time in the interview to do it, I really did choke him. And a lot of people saw that and got mad. And they called me names for doing that to somebody. Uh, to the people that criticize Cyborg for having fun with dudes that ask for it, shut up. To the people that trash her because her level of femininity makes you feel uncomfortable, shut up. To the fans that support Cyborg, she would like to thank you for giving her the confidence to express herself more 
as a woman. You got the cover of Ultimate MMA, very cool. And I know Playboy has an offer out for you to show a little bit more. Are you still considering, or is the door shut? Well, it's not just up to me. The decision would involve my husband as well. I'm not saying the door is shut, but for now I'm focusing on fighting. Strike Force is brought to you by Rockstar Energy Drink, EA Sports, and Full Tilt Poker. For more information on Cyborg, visit show.com, strikeforce.com, or chriscyborg.com.